talk about their mothers. I was watching a football game one time, and this guy scored a bunch of shit, whatever, and they were excited. So they asked him about it afterwards. And the football player said, my mom died last year, but I know she was watching my game from heaven tonight. And I wanted to be there to say, leave your mother alone. How dare you? She's dead. I mean, when are you done with your fucking kids? When are you finished with your fucking kids? Even after you're dead, you still have to go to their fucking games and shit? Leave your mother alone. She did her job. She raised you and it killed her. I mean, let her enjoy heaven. Don't you want your mother to enjoy heaven? Isn't that what you want your mom to be just in heaven? Whee! This poor woman, the angels are like, we're having an angel party. You want to come with us? But I can't. I got to watch my son's games. <laughs> He'll be very upset. Okay, good. He can't fucking hear me. When people die, it means they did their jobs, and you should forget them. That's what I think. Because <laughs> it's unfair what we put on dead people. Are you watching over me? Yes, I'm watching all of it. <laughs> you know, like an old, when you see an old couple, and they've been married for like 60 years. You know that kind of story? Everybody always loves that. The kind of people that always get applause based on the math of their lives. How long have you been married? 60 years. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that automatically wonderful? <laughs> how do you know? You just know how long it's been. For 60 years, every morning, he tells me I'm a piece of shit. Well, let's just say this is a happy couple, okay? They love each other. They've been married for 60 years. That's longer than most people really want to be alive, and they've been together that long. And now they're just an old couple, and they just walk together. You know when you see two people? And it's kind of lovely. They don't need anybody else. It's just the two of them. This is both of them. They just walk. <laughs> they always walk somewhere nobody walks there. It's a trash. <laughs> Trucks go. He's wearing a suit that is not a color. She's wearing a dress that's like a triangle, like a kid drew it. It's just fucking a dress with fruit on it. Nobody cares. And they just walk every day. It's cold. Yeah, it's cold. You want to go to the store and get a cracker? Yeah, let's get a crack at this store. Yeah, buy a corner. Yeah. And then one day, usually he dies first. They're walking and he goes, ah. Ah. And she says, Richard! And he dies. <laughs> so now it's just her. Just Rose. And she's alone. And now she just stands in their house. Once in a while, somebody goes to get Rose because there's a wedding. Come on, Rose. Uh, enter. Just fucking come on. <laughs> come on. Fuck her. Come on. Fuck! I just want to push her from. <laughs> she lives. She lives ten more years. Ten years after Richard dies, and uh, and then ten years later, now she's laying in a bed. She's dying. Somebody's there with her on their phone. So Rose is dying, and she says, well, at least now I get to be with my Richard forever. Where did she get that idea? 
Where did, where did that come from? I've, I've looked it up. No religion teaches that when you die, you get to ruin heaven for your dead spouse. <laughs> Why is that fair? Who gets... Richard's been dead for 10 years. He's been in heaven for 10 years. And somebody comes up to him, hey, your wife is coming. <laughs> what? Hey, just now? <laughs> yeah, Rose just died. She'll be here in about 20 minutes. <laughs> they just gotta hose her down and tape the wings on. <laughs> and then you're gonna be together forever. Wait a minute. Fuck. You said this was heaven. Why is this? I have a girlfriend here now. I don't want to fucking. She's the love of your life. She's not the love of my death, motherfucker. <laughs> That's marriage. Marriage is a big deal. Marriage is a big deal. I went to a wedding the other day. I went to a gay wedding. I've been to a lot of gay weddings, which is not true. <laughs> it's not true at all, but I did go to one. But uh, I don't go to weddings generally because uh, I don't like them. I hate it. Don't invite me, really. I think it's rude to invite people to your wedding. I really do. Nobody's happy to get that shit. You make it all pretty, and they're like, oh, fuck. This is going to suck. Here's a helpful list of places to stay. Oh, great. I get to live in a La Quinta <laughs> in Redding, Pennsylvania for three days because you want to get married for a couple of years. <laughs> Nobody wants to watch you start your shitty thing. Nobody wants to see it. Everybody's in a shitty thing. That's what it is. That's what it is to be with somebody. You're either alone or you're in a shitty thing. That covers 100% of human beings. I know there's, I can see there's young couples here and you're like, no, we're in a good one. It's really good. Yeah, fuck you, who do you think you are? It just didn't get so arrogant. Yeah, I think we figured it out. No, yeah, you're the first ones. Of course it's gonna get shitty, that's part of it. It's like, it's like going to a horror movie, and in the first minute, you're like, I think they're all gonna be fine. <laughs> no, they're all gonna die. And you're gonna hate the person you love right now. It's the way it works. Love plus time minus distance equals hate. That's just the way it goes. I'm not saying don't do it, you should do it. It's the best thing, it's the best part of life, love is. But don't be greedy and expect it to last. Don't be amazed that a butterfly died because you shot it in the face. <laughs> Just fall in love, make a fucking mess. It goes shitty, you don't realize it till too late, and then you cry a lot and move on. It's the best part of life. It is. I've always loved love. I've always loved this. It's been my favorite part of life is meeting somebody and going, oh, shit. Person. That's the best feel. Now, why the fuck would that just, oh, yeah, for years, for our whole lives, just, oh, yeah. That's insane to expect that. And then it rots and dies. It's just the way it goes. It's like if you see a person in the park making bubbles with a big wand, you know, with soap, and sometimes they make a really big one, and he goes, oh, hey, hey, ah, shit, okay. That's all. You don't stand over, liar! You don't get mad at the soap stain. It gets so shitty, man. It does. Oh, 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 oh. 